Hey Ronnie, this is Nick with Generational Leads. I know you spoke with Viola on the phone the other day about her sending you over a quick video of your website, and this is it. So I just want to dive right in. Uh, we're going to cover three things, and they're all pretty pretty important. So we're going to cover keywords, backlinks, and citations. Okay. So we're going to start off with keywords first, and kind of I want to give you a better idea of what I mean by that and how those are going to play a role. So. You have a tree service company, your website looks good, um, super clean, super simple. Uh, there's just not enough content on the homepage alone, especially for um, the keywords you're trying to go for and what is the volume in the area. So Google wants to see about 12, 1,500 to uh, 2,000 words on the homepage alone and then on those service pages in the back, like over here, if you go to your services right here, each one of these should have different pages of what you offer, what kind of uh, tree services you do and all that kind of stuff. Um, and those pages should have about 1,200 to 1,500 words per page. Now that also depends on how many keywords you have on the page as well. But that's kind of like a rough reference. And the reason is because Google comes in and they crawl the entire website and they read everything that you're about. And then that's kind of how they dictate what you're going to rank for, what kind of information you're providing, what questions you're answering for the clients that are coming to your page, etc right so with that being said you just want to make sure we get those in and um, putting those keywords in the correct spot is also very important and we'll get to that why when we talk about some backlinks and stuff but I want to hop over here and kind of give you an idea of your top competitor in the area um, this is their website here this is their home page it's a pretty big company but we're targeting for your area right we're targeting for your area so what we would do Loganville right so what we would do is target these pages and we'd beat out those pages because that's where all their keywords are going. So, for example, they have a page that's Loganville and they also have services of the different stuff they're doing, right? So, this Loganville page is going to have the keywords such as, you know, tree service in Loganville, Georgia, etc. And that's targeting that. So, when people search that term, that's what's going to come up in Google, okay? So, if we dive over here into a tool that I use, this is called Arefs, basically a huge analytic tool. This is for their home page here. Um, and this is what we kind of want to target. Okay, so basically those keywords that I was talking about, right? To give you an example, let's see what we can find here. Tree Service Loganville, Georgia. Okay, so just one, for example, this one has 50 key or 50 people every single month looking for tree service in Logan's, uh, Loganville, Georgia. Okay, um, these guys are in position number one for it, and they're bringing in 15 people every single month to their website, and that's just one keyword alone. So these keywords start to stack up like Legos, okay? But you have to make sure you build the Legos correctly for it to work properly. So with that being said, the other thing we want to dive into and make sure you know about is referring domains and backlinks, okay? This is where the power comes from. This is what we're going to be putting in for our keywords. So basically, this is a popularity contest. It's saying how many different websites can I get or referring domains to backlink or link to my website? So the more you get, the more popular you are. The more popular you are, the more credentials and authority you get in Google. So the caveat is it's not just that simple to go get any backlinks you want. So these guys here are kind of spamming it a little bit because this ratio is quite, quite off. You don't need that many more backlinks to referring domains, okay? You just have to go for the correct ones because backlinks aren't created equally. So you got to make sure they're in your niche, your industry, relevant to what you're talking about. Otherwise, if you just go get any and all backlinks, it's going to be spammy and it's going to kind of work against you, especially if you're starting out and trying to build this up right now. OK, um, with that being said, one thing you can do is literally just go in here, dive in and take exactly what your competitors doing and copycat method. Right. Just go in and get all those and don't stop there because we want to dominate the competition and make sure we're doing uh, better than they are. So these guys are bringing about 570 people every single month to their website. And if we dive over to here to your guys' traffic, we got a little bit of work to do, right? We got to build this DR up here. Um, definitely get some more power in these backlinks here. Um, and organize the website more so to where it's more friendly to Google how they uh, use their algorithm to find things. And we can bump this traffic up by doing that. So... Those two things are pretty important. And the last thing I want to talk about was citations. So if I go over to Google and I type in that main keyword that we were talking about here, this is kind of how Google lays it out. So you have your ads up here. You have the Google Map Pack right here. This is where the citations live. And you have your organic search, which here's your number one competitor. Um, basically, what a citation is here 
is a business directory. So it's a business directory with your business name, number, and address on it. And with that being said, what that what that does is it goes onto a business directory such as Facebook, Bing, Yahoo, BBB, etc., and it builds trust with Google. And when you build the trust with Google, you get more credit credibility and authority within uh, their algorithm as well for ranking. So the only way you can end up on these map packs here is to be ranking on this first page organically. So with that being said, Ronnie, just want to drop this off to you. I know it's a lot of information, so um, I'm sure you're going to have questions. Go ahead and reach out to Viola, and she'd love to take care of you, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.